In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up your uh, structure within LaserFish for saving to the correct volume. Uh, you might have multiple volumes depending on departments. In this uh, instance, we've got uh, a number of different volumes set up for departments. Now, first thing we want to do is go to Tools, Options, go into the New Documents, and then the Import Profile. And you'll notice under Volume, where it says Use Parent Folders Default Volume. So that's at the top of the drop-down list. When we do that, what happens is that since these folders have a volume declared, when we drop a document into it, for instance, uh, it's going to take on the volume that's associated with the parent folder. So in accounting, if I drop a sample in and we see that it's we're using parent folder default volume, when I click OK, it picks up that accounting volume. In this case, it's um, it's a logical volume. So once we 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 set that up like that, uh, we can we can drop that same sample into any one of these other uh, folders. Um, for instance, in, in uh, HR here, same thing. If I take that sample, drop it in, use that parent folder default, click OK, then it takes on the volume. Now. Uh, what happens if you've got a folder where you don't have that set up so that you've got a volume associated with it? So for instance, this, this um, Metro Jail, if I take that sample and drop it in, you're going to notice I've got it set for default volume, but since there's no default declared, we get an error message. The parent folder does not have a default volume assigned. Please select a volume. So at this point, I would have to downshift here and this since this is a jail uh, document I'll just put jail hit OK and now that document goes in and it goes into the jail volume now another way to do this would be to go back out to the Metro Jail folder and if you highlight it and then go tasks migrate entries we're gonna actually migrate that folder into the jail volume hit OK and now that that folder has got jail as the default volume so if we try that sample again uh, to drop it in there sample default bring it in use parent folders default volume which we just set to be jail boom there it is and it puts it into the, into the jail so the best way to do this really would be uh, if you've got people storing into multiple folders that potentially have different volumes I would suggest setting it to use parent folders default volume now another thing that you could do is if you know that somebody's gonna always be in jail for instance you can set jail as the default now what happens there is I might be in um, the uh, support services I might be in say the civil folder even though I drop that sample in, it's going to pick up the jail volume. So watch what happens. Boom. It puts it into the jail volume, even though the civil folder is, is, is in the jail volume. So, for instance here, if we want to set the default on this to records, task, migrate entries, we want to put that into records, and then general correspondence and memorandum since this is support services we will put that into uh, probably warrants for instance okay hit okay so now we've got these all all preset so that if somebody uses the default to be use parent folder volume then we're going to be they're, they're going to be set they don't they're not going to have to worry about which uh, which volume they have to select it's going to automatically select hope that helps thanks